What is up, YouTubers and YouTuberettes? Welcome. First of all, welcome to Arts and Crafts with Bailey County. And today I'm going to be rattle canning the Hinkle Shad. So I picked this bait up probably a year and a half ago. Awesome action in the water. It's real tight, kind of glide. Um, you know, it's just not the color I was really looking for or really like. It's a bluegill pattern, which I know big bass love bluegill and all, but I just kind of want more of a shad profile or something a little more simple. That's what I'm going with here, and I'm going to might do a little kind of a trout pattern, just some natural, easy looking kind of glide and motion paint in the water. Yeah, not the not the color that I would have picked. I picked it up on eBay off of some guy, and uh, it was the only one I really wanted a hinkle bad. And uh, it's the only one that I found available and was on eBay, so I didn't really have a choice in color. So, picked all this up in Walmart, got it less than like 20 bucks. At Walmart, I'm sure you can go to another paint shop or paint store and get a lot nicer stuff, but I'm rattle canning it. And uh, I went to Walmart too because I needed some, some good old coconut water. It's going to kind of be my base pattern. It's a metallic aluminum. And uh, the second top of the base, base I'm going to put on the back, which is a, a great color. It's kind of glossy, a little shiny, and kind of a good appearance in the water and I also picked up a little bit of this red to kind of get a little bleeding effect and uh, go from there like if I like it I don't want to do too much to it but if I kind of want to add something else to it I might get some little paint brush and uh, get some some little black dots around right there and kind of give like a little trout look little trout specks on there I really like that look so first thing first here what I'm going to do is uh, carefully remove the trebles with a pair of split learning pliers and uh, remove the fins and get it ready for paint. Okie dokie, got my hardware removed, my eyes removed, fins removed. And uh, when you're taking the fins off, be real quick, careful. You might want to use a razor blade um, just to kind of help you peel those fins back because they are glued on there pretty well. Uh, I kind of had a little problem with my, with my back tail fin. So uh, yeah, be careful taking those fins off. So, got it all ripped off, stripped up. I think we're ready for some paint. Alrighty, so there you have it. I moved out to the blistering sun because the lighting and the lighting out here was just awful. I apologize for that, so. Here's the outcome of the, the gray, the aluminum paint. And the bait looks a lot bigger than what it did with all the detail in there. Uh, I'm really happy of how that, that came out. Check that out. In order to get like an even coat for the back of the purple, what I'm going to do is uh, I got some pieces of paper here, piece along that line so I can get an even spray along the back and not hit the body too much. Because I don't have airbrushes, I'm using rattle can here because I'm hardcore like that. So it's going to kind of lay that over. Cut along that line. Put it up, cheat a little bit. Alright, it went pretty smooth. Got the purple on there. Wasn't too bad. Um, looks pretty cool. I like it. So now time to maybe color in a little blood in here. Get some blood coming down there. Make it kind of like the bait fish is dying. Alright, got my blood in there. A little bit more on that side, kind of give a different effect, give a little bit more character. A uh, trick here to doing this, I found out, is uh, don't think about it too much, just do it. Don't be scared, I know it's expensive bait and all, but uh, that's what's cool about being a rattle can paint job, is uh, you can redo it. Or send it into a professional. So, uh, if you're looking at this, I think the last thing I'm going to do is uh, throw in little black dots in here, some little trout specks, and uh, throw the fins on. She should be ready to catch some fish and slay some giants. Um, 
That's that side of the bait. There's the back of the bait. Got my dots all running. A little more blood on that side. The front of it. Back one more time. Side. Would I do it again? Absolutely. That was, a, that was really cool. There you have it. Rattle can on the Hinkle Shad.